<laughs> oh, Estinian gets to follow us? Mm -hmm. Come along, Estinian. I know the way. Did you talk to him? No, I haven't. <laughs> it's actually really funny. <laughs> Do fountains normally have names? I can hear more gruff. Those radiants have amazing looking gear. Oh, the etherite is... Okay, gotcha. So they don't want people teleporting in. You're right, Estinian. I was half paying attention. <laughs> He's very, like... Business like no nonsense. Mm -hmm. but yeah, it's basically exactly like you'll more. In fact, it has the you'll more aetherite too. Yeah, we can't do anything here. Can I use Sony Bell? I can't. Excuse me, sir. I died a lot. Can you repair my gear, please? <laughs> I got an augmented crypt lurker's earring of slain from my routine. That's good for your. Uh... Really good. That's item level five thirty earring for my reaper. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. You were doing your retainers, so I'm doing my retainers now, too. Sorry. Where even are you? Alchemy. It's it's Oh This is their Alchemy Center. Wow, it's huge. That's what they do. Man. Thank you. Okay. I took a glance. I'm satisfied down there. Okay. You can take a look if you like. No, I'm good. If you don't think there's anything interesting down there, then we'll move on. Big old open area with a couple NPCs. That's about it. Expanding House of Splendors? I'm guessing a lot of this stuff is just things we can't House do of yet. Splendors. Rowena's moving in. Oh, right. Because this is the. Uh... Oh, I have to be a disciple of the Hand or Land at level 80. Well, okay, I'll do that later. Scripts. Yep, they're not working yet. 
Yeah, because um, this is going to be the end game zone, right? Yes. So yeah, Rowena's going to move in. As she does. And it's Rowena's House of Splendors, right? Mm-hmm. This is so cool. I love it. it's an actual bazaar. Mm -hmm. We gotta go up, right? Eventually. There's an <laughs> etherite back here. Oh, I missed one. Drat. feel like this is it's probably a waste of time because we're probably going to get sent around the city later when it's unlocked, but... Eh. Possibly, but we weren't in Yulmore. True. No, Estinian, get out of the way. <laughs> Oh, the Hall of the Radiant Host. Oh. It's like maybe some kind of barracks or something here where they have meetings. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, the Radiant Radiant Host is the, uh, the guard. Yep. And then there are there are supplies, supplies, stock rooms, yeah. This is cool. I really like this city. I really like how it's built into the uh, into the mountain. I know I keep making references, but the not the design, but the structure itself kind of reminds me a little bit of. Um, I don't remember the exact name of the city. It's not coming to me for right now, but in um, fifteen. Look at the roof. Hmm. Or the ceiling, I guess, is what I mean. He's up on Lothal. What? Lothal? Where did I get Lothal from? Oh, that's from Star Wars. Um, doesn't it start with an L, though? Yes, it does. I just... Oh, hello. Right now. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? With a power plant? Yeah. I was kind of built into the, into the mountainside. Stall him. Thank you. I had a good look it up. Yeah, let's stall him. I vote after we grab this one because there doesn't the city doesn't loop around at all. We take the Ethernet back. Sounds good. Was this a cafe? And you said it was boring back here. Oh, it's oh, a cafe. It was somewhere else. Never mind. And dancers and a lookout. And ooh, pretty. Ooh, very pretty. Oh, man. Look at that view. See the docks from here? They really uh, put together some high quality cloud graphics for this zone. Man. It's so pretty. Agile's Peace. Hmm. Is that the name of the fountain? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, right. Well, you've lost sight of Stinian. He's gonna be grumpy. At least he's right here. He's gonna be like, and what did you do that for? Oh. I've had your bearings, have you?
You're boring. <laughs> there have been zero conversation points. He won't talk to me. Oop. Conversation point. Should have kept my mouth shut. It's the treasure map zone. Um. <laughs> the stadium's actually opened one. He had to. But then his <laughs> item level got synced down. Because his item level like 900. <laughs> he got synced at 580 or something. Stairs are purple. Mm -hmm. Looking for uh, sightseeing locations too. Don't see any. Oh, boo. Oh man, we're gonna go higher and it's gonna be pretty as heck. I'm gonna look at him. Oh. <laughs> he loves his blue. For that, no, no wonder he. <laughs> Spends money left and right. Yeah. He doesn't He's prepare like, for anything. Where is this that's person? I mean. Oh, that's a player. Okay, then. Okay. Hey. I see you. Walk backwards. You get less forward momentum that way. That jump should be easy for you, Estinian. <laughs> <laughs> I see you up there too. Whoops, over jumped it. So did I. And he's like, what the bloody hell are we doing here? At least he's not falling because he would get in my way. So hoping it was a shortcut. It's not. Got it. I've been training for this up gold saucer for years. Uh. 
These are fun vistas. I like them. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's drinking from the... Holy crap, that's a fancy fountain for a bunch of birds. Hey! Well, this is pretty! Why is everything here pretty? That's it, isn't it? That's where we're going. Yes, that looks familiar. Ah! Jax! 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 Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm good. I'm good. I was trying to find some landscape G shades, but wasn't find anything real decent. No worries. I'm assuming you hit this uh, these Ethernet shards as you're moving through. Mm -hmm. I hit this one. The sit the road here takes us back down. But look, this is a cute little city. There should be one more though, over here. Mm, there's one up at the Megaduta. I don't have the one at Kama. Where's Kama? You have to cross over. Oh, so instead of going okay. straight angle right, yeah. Yeah, I didn't come down this way because I thought I just went. Hey! hey. Did you fall off? I've had a lookout. Oh. But, um... But? But I've fallen. I don't think there's a way back up. Yeah. That's okay, there's just some stairs. Estinian's over here like, you dummy. <laughs> I'm coming. You're fine. You can see over top of it. You can't actually go there, but you can see it. It's cool. Okay. Just looking for sightseeing. Did not see any. I talked to that guy that was in there. He goes, my grain and spice stores are running low. Yet what if, in my rush to buy them, I deprive those truly in need? Well then. More residential areas. Over there. This feels like an actual city. Yep. Missing two more that we can actually get. The airship landing, which we were told to go to. Nothing in there. Come on, Stidian. 
<laughs> What's up? Oh, and can I help you? Wait, what are you doing in my room? <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. I can also see why they would have added a uh, a new FC buff to apply to make sprint last longer in cities. Because the city has got really big. We're only missing one other location in Radsethan for the sightseeing log. Interesting. Oh, there's the airship landing. It's down south. Mm hmm. Oh, I got distracted and didn't make it all the way. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Finally, jeez. Missing opportunity for a sightseeing location. Mm hmm. Holy cow. There's a giant skull over there. Mm hmm. And that's the, uh, the bridge. Oh, the sun is setting. Oh, oh, oh. And now it's raining. I was just about to say how the sun is setting is going to be gorgeous. But, um, yeah. You can fit a lot of airships on here, or a really big one. This place kind of slightly reminds me of Pujerba from Final Fantasy XII. Cannot miss it. However, I like rocks, so I may need to help a little bit more. <laughs> what are you doing? Looking at the birds. We looked at the birds earlier. But you can actually go inside. Uh huh. Might be a sneaky, oh, oh, sneaky oh, sightseeing oh. log. But have a talkie talk about the birds? No. He doesn't care about birds. Never Poor mind, birds. we're talking about birds. The bird is standing right there. Yep. <laughs> That's funny. I'm assuming the last sightseeing location will be up here. Because this is a very eventful location. We were quite thorough here, weren't we? We can actually go in that water. I don't want to lose the city, though. You don't swim in it. It's not as deep as it looks. Oh. See? 
No. Gosh, it's very shallow. I jumped in it, expecting to go swimming and I landed very hard. It was kind of funny. It's more like a water park. I like how I'm like, hey, let's do this dungeon, then maybe a quest or two, and then we'll be done for the night. And then they have uh, Razadhan. <laughs> and then Razadhan. And then Razadhan. Oh, come on. Where is it? It's not inside. Because you can't actually go very far inside. I don't know. And here I thought we were thorough. We were pretty thorough. find it eventually. I saw several places where people are clustered up in cutscenes, so we're going to be going back through the city quite a bit. Gotcha. Oh, we've already seen this. So we got them all? No, but we've have we actually have one that's about this. Isn't it the one that was on that rock over there? It's the very last one. Hmm. I don't I don't know. Oh well. Let us present ourselves. I don't want to go back through the whole city right now. I don't blame you. We don't have we can't use Ethernet right now because of Estinian. they showed it in the corner of this room, it would haunt my dreams tonight. <laughs> Can't get into this room. I know. Look, he's better. Oh, good. Probably had all Ark on loaf. Are we the last to arrive? I hope we've not kept you waiting. Not at all. Your comrade is feeling better, I trust. Much better, thank you. Harness remedies are certainly potent in more ways than one. One becomes accustomed to the taste, although I hope you never have cause to do so. Pray, take your ease. Hi. Full glad I am to see you all unharmed. Especially you. <laughs> mm -hmm. My eyes were closed again. For your heroism, you have my boundless gratitude. Do you see down his body there's a red spot? Yeah, I do. Either that's some kind of a battle wound, or that's where he's pulling off his scar, his scales. Might be where he's pulling the scales from. You cast down that dire tower and set free its hapless captives. You cleanse their souls of its corrupting influence. That's just what we do. No words of thanks will suffice. In place of platitudes, I offer a bounty of warding scales. Notice he speaks in uh, our tongue. Mm-hmm. Well, so does Midgard Zoma. True. Raceberger didn't, though. And neither did Tiamat or... Oh, no, Nidhogg did. 
That's right, Nidog did. Alchemists throughout the land were put to work in the forging of your talismans. The finished ones have been collected, and now await you at the High Crucible of Alchemia. Present this letter when you are ready to take them into your possession. We are humbled by your generosity. Know that the inventive wisdom of Radzat Han will be vital in restoring serenity to our star. Every single one of those scales came from you, didn't they? You must still be in such pain. Oh, I was right. Yep. Oof. Tis of no moment. A mere annoyance compared to the dreadful suffering inflicted upon this land and its people. He's so different from the other dragons we've met. Yeah, it's because he's lived amongst men for Albeit brief, their whole life almost. My involvement in the Dragon's the Song War afforded me a glimpse of the myriad sorrows which consumed both dragon and man. Though you were half a world away, such tragedies as befell your kin must have affected you deeply. And yet, you chose to live among men. In the age when that conflict first bloomed, my choice had already been made. In some distant place, man slew dragon, and dragon slaughtered man. Yet no hate could I muster for those Aww. smiling faces which did look to me for guidance. Mm. Not even my brother's righteous rage could rally me to his cause. I huddled here, secret and still, hoping against hope that which I had built would remain untouched by the chaos and carnage. Standing it over here in the corner. It would seem we share the same desire for peace, Great Vritra. To that end, I wonder if we might trouble you with another question. The Telophoroi are intent on recreating the final days, an apocalyptic event which we know to predate the sundering of the star. As the longest lived among us, know you aught of this terrible cataclysm. Nay, when war and strife drove my sire from his home, he crossed the great expanse with only our unhatched eggs as company. He alighted upon a shattered source, its thirteen reflections oh. long since scattered beyond the rift. That's why there aren't dragons on the other shards. Yeah, it makes sense. Of events preceding his arrival, he knoweth not, save that which Hydralin hath deigned to disclose. Which is probably not much. No, because she doesn't want I see. residents of the so source again, to know. So again, it is the inscrutable Hydralin to whom you must look for answers. Answers. <laughs> <laughs> Seek you to divine the will of this star. Hmm? If so... I have a tale which may afford you some small comfort. Go on. Tis a story from my youth many, many years ago. To my sire, I once posed the question, Of all mm. the stars in the sky, why didst thou settle upon this one? To which Midgard Summer did reply, "'Twas the last bastion of hope. He believed, so long as Hydaelyn endured, so too might dragonkind. Solemn and portentous were his words. What deeper meaning they held, I could not, dared not pursue. Tis a stone I've left unturned ever since. And Midgard Tormer is sleeping right now. So we can't ask him. Nope. 
It take you solace in the knowledge that whatsoever Hydrogen does strive towards is an ideal which hath yeah, we keep forgetting about that. Conviction. The Midgard's own word trusts Hyland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Vritra. You've given us warm reassurance in a world gripped by cold uncertainty. While I'm sure we all have a great many questions, I think it's time we collect the talismans and be on our way. Our fight against the Talothoroi is far from finished. We must take our leave, but please do inform us if we can provide any further assistance. She's so cute. <laughs> Hello? What are we hanging up for? Privy, a moment. Vritra, how are you? There is one whom my sire hath judged worthy of honor and respect. The one known to men as Eorzea's champion. This hero of renown and rumor, tis thee. Well, yeah. Only wish he could be with, here with us now. Yeah. He could answer a lot of questions. Yep. I know of his clash with the Omega and the long slumber which was his price. That's a unique dialogue. Yet he yep. in sleep. My father's eyes are far from blind. He is watching over thee, watching over this world. Twas a revelation most pleasing that thou, a child of man, had gained amidst God's summer's trust. But alongside my elation runneth a rivulet of dread. For upon thy life's reel wind too many threads of fate, mm. power, wheel enmeshed with woe. Yeah. Amidst this tangled knot thou shalt know no rest. Is an endless confluence of forces, a struggle without surcease. More feeling. terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions, as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. I just love twisting that one. Yeah. So many have gone. Take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. The hope thou wilt need come the end. Even cowering behind my curtain, I know the suffering of the powerful. I have watched my siblings driven mad by loss. Thus do I exhort thee to spare no effort to keep thy loved ones safe. Man. Speaking of oh. loved ones. Uh oh. That bodes well. Ah, apologies. We hadn't meant to interrupt. It's just that we do have a history of suddenly collapsing, and when you didn't follow us out... <laughs> <laughs> no. Tis I who must apologize. I have to change your champion over long. Idle chatter. He calls that chatter. idle chatter. We're just talking and shooting the breeze. Just, you know, whatever's. Go. At war's end, I pray I welcome thee back into my hall. Where together with thy joyful comrades, you may toast your triumph. Same. Yeah. Thanks for the death flag, Tritra. <laughs> <laughs> but besides that, it was some very kind words. Mm -hmm. 
No, I mean, he's he's worried about what would happen to us if we lost somebody really, truly close to us. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, Shadowbringers really brought the Scions into a really close-knit group if we lost one of them now. Ooh. Yeah. Raincoat. <laughs> Nothing. See, told you. None your business. Jeez, we're gonna be level uh, 83. Oh, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay then. Oh, you got the dungeon uh, bonus. I got mm. I got that on my sage earlier. Or no, my reaper. I'm sorry, my reaper. Reaper? Doesn't matter. I got it on something else. Did you talk to Alice? I didn't. She says, like his sister Tiamat, Vritra is possessed of a gentle soul. I'm glad they're on our side. Oh. Oh look, Archon love. Yay. They added it as a uh, <laughs> crafting recipe so that they could give it to us as a... They hey! Did. We have been assaulted. Go get her! Okay, by accident? Yes. Dang it. Oh, you're out of range. <laughs> I like that macro. I have a macro too. on a 45 second cooldown though yeah mine's on a uh, I guess a 30 did we get a hmm? I guess we did I was like did we get a sightseeing location here we must have. I don't know. I don't like how sad the music is right now. It's probably going to get happy once we fix everything. Just like Gilmore. It'll be nice and happy and waltzy. I was gonna get jazzy, remember? Jazzy? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Game I literally taking bar hand. I personally never really found all that much trouble 
getting around the Crystarium, Alize, but that's uh, just me. Looking for a nice, clean spot to end everything tonight. Mm. <sighs> well, we got the bazaar. Well, you, you know, know what? what? It might be down in that room that I cleansed that didn't I do was, anything I about. I was just gonna say, I'll bet oh. you it's down that oh. room. Oh. What? Ariane Jan Sancred. Oh. You took your time. Got to turn around and I take it? No, I wasn't looking for sightseeing areas. No, these are the lines from the trailer. Does that mean this is where the scene takes place? I guess so. That doesn't make sense because they look up at the sky. Oh wow. Well. Oh well. They borrow lines. That looks like a long cutscene. Do you want to go look down that hall right quick? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's go do that then. <laughs> Thank you for bringing it to my attention. bringing what to your attention? The need to go down this hall. I just know that you're intensely focused on this. And I, I want to be able to focus on the story, so. Well, bummer. I don't see it anywhere. Okie dokie. I tried. Yep. Oh, 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 wait for me. Okay, boom, popped you in the head. What? You didn't say K fly down there? No, I didn't. She's down there. I see her. Oh, I see her. What is she doing? I don't know. Following us? Oh, talking to people, okay. She's probably doing a quest. Yeah. She's quite a bit further than we are. Yeah. She was in Garlemald yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> it's the High Crucible of Alchemia. Alchemy? Alchemy. Oh, alchemy. That's right. probably where the word comes from. Gotcha. Look at all the people Let's to talk to. It. Really? According to Astinian, it would. You're the lightest good news. Hi. I am in short supply of good news. Doesn't the latest good news usually imply bad news? Maybe. Like, you usually say that sarcastically. These are the talismans we were promised. Voices! 
Yes, and I made a quick count. There are far mm. more than we could have hoped for. Those are pretty little seals. Mm -hmm. Enough to outfit an entire company of soldiers, in fact. Considering the involved process, that they were able to manufacture so many in such a short span of time is nothing short of a miracle. Once we have distributed them to our allies in Eorzea and the Far East, we'll have a fighting chance to bring down the other spires, just as we did with the Tower of Zot. Or we could use them to invade Garlemald proper and strike directly at the Telophoroi's base of operations. Oh. Why, is, why is this an or? Why is this an or? Why not both? Of course, we would need to consult with various Alliance leaders before such a drastic measure could even be contemplated. To which end, I could set out forthwith and present the idea to each of our allies in person. Pray allow me to undertake some few of those journeys. I find myself restless and in need of purposeful duties. Aww. I can head eastward. Bosnia and Dalmasca are just a short hop from here. Mm. And Doma's Shinobi network should come in handy for passing on the word. We shall share the burden then. What do I do? What do I do? Meanwhile, I think it best that you and the others take the talismans back to the Baldessian Annex. Oh. We must keep them safe and secure until we've decided upon a course of action. That's actually a good idea. That'll be a good place to stop. Please. Hello, you're up and about. I must speak with you. Hello. Nidana, you're awake. Yes. When I spoke with the carer at my bedside, she told me that one of the scions, a young woman, had cleansed me of the tower's corruption. It seems I've been asleep ever since the treatment. But when I awoke and learned you were all still here, I knew I had to come. As you said, Nidana was captured only recently. Such a brief exposure is swiftly cured, so I tended to her before we gathered at Megaduta. Mm. Makes sense. And I am truly grateful that you did. I cannot thank you enough. All of you, for everything you've done. Destroying the tower, rescuing our people. You've saved Havnir from an awful fate. <laughs> He's so cute. He even has still got a smile. Saved who? Due in no small part to thine inspirational courage, the alchemists were successful in reproducing warding scales of proven efficacy. Replications of thy work now stand ready to travel across the seas unto the hands of those who might wield them against this rising evil. <laughs> the talisman? Is this true? I was so groggy from sleep, I didn't even think to ask. Oh, our great work sent across the seas. Aww. It was worth it. Oh, it was all worth it. Yes, it was. The balloon? Hello? It's responding. is completely changed. What do you have there? It's a glow-in-the-dark oh, flower. How unusual. <laughs> I wonder if the effect is a reaction to Akasha. Akasha? I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that term. Akasha? 
It is one of the unseen energies defined by Hanish alchemical theory. Though a gross oversimplification, some describe it as an essence influenced by feelings. Like an aura. Mm. Yeah. To imply that it is distinct from ether. Our foreign scholars often conflate the two, but we see them as separate concepts. Ether is an energy which permeates the land. It exists within animals, objects, even the air we breathe, affecting all through which it flows. Akasha, on the other hand, exists in a domain beyond our reach. A gift bestowed from on high, or torn from the heavens in some traditions. <laughs> Akasha can neither be created nor destroyed. It is beyond our power to purposefully alter or manipulate. The only thing observed to influence it is an abundance of, I want to say, spiritual emotion. As a veteran of the battlefield, surely you've experienced moments of desperation or exaltation when you've transcended the usual limits of your capabilities. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that is a manifestation of Akasha, the invisible essence harnessed by heart, mind, and unyielding spirit. I really must hear more about this theory. Our disciplines are based entirely upon the idea that ether is the fundamental form of all energy. I'm glad my haphazard explanation has piqued your interest. <laughs> but even for us, Akasha is a somewhat abstract field of study. A lack of practical application lends itself poorly to formalized research. Which is why my analysis of your flower can amount to little more than idle speculation. I am sorry. No, it's okay. Nonsense, you have nothing to be sorry for. Your insight is much appreciated. So what do we do with it? Shall we depart for Charlian then? I will see to it that the talismans arrive at the annex. What's up? And we will be in touch once our talks are concluded. I suggest you rest while you can. Um, From here onward, sleep is bound to be in short supply. Two things. One, I'm wondering if this theory that we've just stumbled upon is part of the reason why Heidelin wanted us to take this flower with us. To start delving into this idea. Mm -hmm. And two, I'm also wondering if maybe soul and memory are tied to this Akasha energy as opposed to being ether like we thought, which is why memories imprint so strongly and why souls can reincarnate because they don't actually dissolve into the ethereal sea they're separate they're different they're made of something else that's right because if it was just ether ether would just combine with ether in the ethereal sea right it would dissipate like um like life stream in seven right. but if there's something called akasha that's a emotions and and like you said, like a memory energy that could literally be people's well, souls. It's not, it's not emotion. She said it was emotion driven. Right. That it, it reacts to emotion. It resonates with emotions. Which is why I think it might be souls. Ah. And what was it that Emmett said at the beginning? Where stars and souls come to rest? Yeah. In the ethereal sea. I wonder if that ethereal pool underneath Silver Tear is actually Akasha instead of Aether. I forgot about Silver Tear. It's supposedly like the main. That's why they put out the 1.0 trailer. Yeah, because the Silver Tear plays such a, a integral part here. Yeah. And I'm, I'm also starting to wonder now. Although, sorry, some of this is like me, like making the steps as I'm talking. Right. But I'm wondering if 
Charlene's actually stumbled across this a long time ago and just haven't told anybody. Yeah, that would make sense. I don't know how much of it they stumbled across, of course. but I have a feeling that they know about this, and that's why they have the heart blooms in Labyrinthos. And they probably took, there are probably several steps beyond this point already. Oh yeah, which absolutely. Means they've discovered something in the ethereal sea about Akasha that is major. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Fun theories. Mm-hmm. A lot of, a lot we'll of concrete evidence that supports it too. So, like you said, we'll see what happens. But I'm two for two <laughs> so far in this expansion, so. I really liked that song. It was really pretty. Yeah. And did you hear it looped the end of it at the end? Once we were stopped and letting it just run, it just looped the end of it over and over. That soft piano. Nice. Okay, it looks like we are back in Club Charlene. You ready to go back? Mm-hmm. Go turn this quest, hopefully finalize it, and then call it a night, because it's mm, almost 1.30 in the morning. And we've got another long day of this all day tomorrow. Our last day. Indeed. I always check to make sure we're not missing a... Oh shoot, I'm not high enough level to take the next quest. Alright. I keep talking about it in vague terms. You know what I'm talking about, though. Mm -hmm. The hunt quest. I know what you mean now. <laughs> there you are, Crow. Oh, this might be a long cutscene. No, they're not talking to Crow. Okay. Rest? Re oh no, it is a long cutscene. There are several cutscenes though with with uh, Oshika. That's fine. Maybe we'll get a Heidelin scene. Hmm. New improved lodgings. Tired your chamber? New and improved. How so? Now with more Heidelin. This music. It stopped glowing. Oh. Huh. Well, it reacted. But now it's all gray. Yeah. It said that gray meant, like... Well, we're back in old Charlene. Yeah, that's true. Take heart and protect them well. Retra. Good. You're here. You haven't eaten yet, have you? Well, this is freaking adorable. If you're interested. I was so Only shocked the I didn't get a screenshot. <laughs> The last stand, of course. <laughs> Tantru's gonna get mailed an invoice to be like, you guys had a buffet? We had sandwiches, of course. <laughs> That's a big burger. Oh, gimme, gimme. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Lest you wonder, we invited Astinian as well. But he refused <laughs> with a rather grim faced No, thank you. <laughs> I suspect Charlian cuisine is not to his liking. 
<laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Perhaps she took her head down and everything. Just needed yeah. some time apart. What? To perfect his brooding stare? Yes. Next time, I'll drag him out by the ear, sit him down in front of a Charlian feast, and see that he eats every last bite. An excellent idea. Of all people, warriors must take proper meals and rest if they are to maintain a healthy constitution. Is that pointed at me? <laughs> Poor Astinian. Beset on all sides. Nah. Poor not Astinian. He's cared Never. after quite heartily. Speaking of one's physical condition, Mistress Kryl, I hear you recently played literal host to Hydlin herself. Hello. <sighs> and what an experience that was. Tiring, yes, but no lasting harm done. As far as we're aware. <laughs> <sighs> if anything, I should have liked to speak with her longer. I've not felt a hint of her presence since. Mm -hmm. Hydaelyn instructed you to carry that flower, yes? Yes. Looks like I'm about five Twill seconds be behind your you. Guide. Test and yeah, sorry, I can't stop conviction. at any point. It's and all automatic. Something about seeking joy in darkness, was it? Come to think of it, isn't that what happened with Nidana back in Rods at home? Ah. Hmm. The flower did seem to radiate a joyful glow, as if reflecting the elation we all felt. The relief of a people with renewed hope. Do we need to go to Idolin when we can Indeed. make the flower glow like that and ourselves? In turn, I felt mm. buoyed by that radiance. It was akin to spotting a beacon and knowing we were on the right path. Look how there's low. I know he's not yet triumphed over the Tlothroy. <laughs> Basket of sandwiches. Or learned the full breadth of the forum's plans. It's the sandwich basket. But it even is. within the midst of our struggles. We find small moments of joy to sustain us. Rare and hard won, perhaps, but it is this pursuit of happiness that gives us the strength to carry on day after day. You would know about that, wouldn't you? Hundred years of the first. Hey, that's mine. To the swift, the spoils. Though I recall that levitation oh. spell of yours was quick enough. Mm, only barely. And even Aww. at my best, I'm still too slow to wield it effectively in battle. Mm. But it was fast enough. Mayhap I simply require more practice with this new magic. <laughs> you unearthed it from the depths of Numenon, I presume. Oh. I wonder where I got it from. From a veritable mountain of arcane tomes at that. It was necessary to facilitate my solitary explorations. Look at the macaron. <laughs> or, to put it simply, you used it to sneak around the forbidden archives. I. Uh, yes, well, after a fashion. She's offering you half of your cookie, Raha. Take it. What did you do? The shelves, they're too tall for me. And I could hardly move wow. them these platforms without attracting attention now, could I? He learned levitation so he could float oh, up to higher look shelves. He's short! I oh told my you goodness. He was short. What a mess of a kid. I say kid, he's an old man, but still. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Can you do these are my quarters? <laughs> are we pushing on until dawn? I'm not that ambitious. But it is pleasant to idle away the hours every once in a while. Oh, 
Oh. What did she do? Who knows? I missed it. Ooh. Oh. It's not exploding. It's green. I don't remember what green meant. Ah. He's looking at a different moon. Why is his moon full? <laughs> ah! Enjoying the bracing cold, I see. Do you not own a warm coat or a cloak? Something in fur? Or fashioned from the skins of your enemies? Or... Well, never mind that. He's delivering his lines very differently. I come to you once I think more it's as the, the bearer other voice of actor. bad news. No other voice actor? He has two voice actors now. Didn't you hear him do the double speak? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we were getting the echo of Ammon, that was a completely different person. So, do we have... Is this... Is he literally split personality? No, 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 no. Elidibus was doing that too with Ardbert's voice. Okay. Remember, sometimes he would talk with both voices at once. Oh, right, 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 right. So he's, so he's, he's speaking he's, with his, his real voice right now. Yeah, he's not using Asahi's voice anymore. Gotcha, my bad. Our tower in Thavne has been toppled, and I need not tell you by whom. Given how many we have at our disposal, the loss of a single spire is hardly fatal to our plans. It does, however, slow the rate at which we siphon ether. If they continue to preoccupy themselves with the towers, then all will be well. But should our foe prove bold enough to strike at us here, then the timing becomes... questionable. Our foe is bold enough. Of that, <laughs> I can assure you. He's anticipating us to show up. Mm hmm He's expecting us to show up. Ah, uh, yes. Very well, then. I suppose I must prepare a proper welcome. Honestly, talk of your nemesis is the only thing you seem to enjoy. Does nothing else spark your interest? Nope. Hmm. No. <laughs> All else is equal, equally tedious, equally disappointing. The world is a tepid bog into which we sink, too weak to thrash as the mud clings to our eyes and fills our throats till we blissfully choke. Well, that's an image. But then came the light, blinding and pure and hot, so very hot, enough to set my soul aflame. I basked in the afterglow until the void yawned once more. And then I knew the muck would never claim me again. There was naught for me ahead. So I drew the curtain on all that had come before. Burn. Burn. Let the whole star burn. I will have my contest. I will reclaim my moment. How wonderful! That the emptiness of death has not dissuaded you from committing your life to its pursuit once more. I don't know whether to envy you or pity you. You question my disinterest, but what of yours? Despite your noisome antics, I sense you take little pleasure in this endeavor. Right? I was just about to say. Seems like he's just going through the paces. Mm. Mercy, my lord. Such pointed barbs from one who barely acknowledges my existence. Nevertheless, 
You are mistaken. For I do find this part somewhat enjoyable. You see, when I was mortal, I would always have the same dream. It was a fragmented thing. Disjointed. All the faces incomplete. The setting, too, was unknown to me. So I thought it simply a fantasy of my sleeping mind. Until one day, I realized it was showing me the truth. Much as your dream of the final days enlightened you. And what he was your truth? Didn't, that's what I'm wondering. He didn't... He said, your dream of the final days. He didn't dream of the final days. He dreamed of something else. He did. We're not going to find out until the end, I don't think. It's going to be something sad and tragic, and we're and not going to know until the end. Very soon, the rest of the world will see the truth of my dream, too. Yes. I think that is something we can both enjoy. Well, that was a lot of vague concepts and nothing really happening. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Yeah, I don't really have anything to add to uh, to their little discussion. It it yeah, I, there wasn't like there wasn't any substance to it. Nothing much, new. Much ado about nothing.